and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Cassandra, and I have my huge Aldi haul for you guys for this month. Lots of goodies, lots of summer finds, and some really fun snacks that we're gonna be doing this month in baking. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. Plus, I'm showing you guys just a couple things that I stopped and picked up from the farmer's market because that does come out of my grocery budget. It's just not from Aldi. But let's not ramble and just let's hop into all the Aldi stuff, shall we? This is my Aldi haul for the month of August for my family of five. My total came to $242.85, a little bit higher than what I really wanted it to be. I was really hoping to stay more at like $225 uh, just because I know that my Walmart order is going way over. So if I could have saved money, I wanted to, but it just didn't happen. But let's talk about what we got. Let's go ahead and start with the big old watermelon. I was going to get two of these. These were $4.99 for a seedless watermelon. However, I thought let's just do one and I can stop and get another one in the middle of the month if we need one. I did get a cheese pizza. They're taking bakes. It's already in the oven. We're just gonna go on this way. I did get two things of these Priano. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Pastas. We've gotten these a couple times in the past. They are really decent. I don't know if they're necessarily worth the extra dollar than like the regular um, Aldi pastas, but I'm making some different pasta dishes this month and I thought these would just be nice. So we picked out some shells and then we also picked out these uh, rigatonis. If you watch my meal plan video, I'm making a bolognese and this is the kind of pasta I wanted for that. I got one thing of hard salami for homemade Lunchables. I got a thing of the off-brand Velveeta. I'm making a baked mac and cheese. It's my mother-in-law's recipe and this is what she uses for that. Just a gallon of milk, two things of fries just to have really easy sides this month if you haven't heard the news. We are expecting baby number four. We are well into our second trimester already and the garden is really gonna start producing. I'm gonna need a little bit of help when it comes to meals because I'm gonna be in the kitchen most of the day preserving. So I got a couple things of fries just to make my life easy. Last month I talked to you guys about how we're trying to get away from bags of shredded cheese because there's a lot of junk in it. And of course I'm saying that and I've got a bunch of hot dogs right here, but it's give and take and you need to pick your poison. So. That one thing that we're trying to switch out just to be better is not having so much processed cheese because there is so much of junk in shredded cheese. So I picked up two of these mozzarella slices. Uh, I'm gonna make lasagna this month and then stuffed shells. And I thought this on top of those would be really nice. So I got two of those and I'm hoping they last. It says best by September uh, 12th. So I sh these should last me all month. I will keep you guys updated on how those last. Three things of hot dogs as I'm talking about trying to cut out processed junk. But we are doing hot dogs over the campfire one night every week this month. So there's 24 in here. I know that sounds like a lot, but these freeze super well. And then I think we're also gonna have family over and stuff and do that with all of my nieces and nephews. And I have 15 nieces and nephews and plus their mom and dads. So we're gonna do that, I think, one night before the kids go back to school this month. We haven't been getting this mixed berry blend recently because it's so expensive. These are over $6 bag right now, but these are my kids' favorite. My oldest asked me specifically if we get these, so I told her yes, we got two bags. So this was $12 out of my grocery haul where these two bags of frozen fruit. I usually get peanut butter from Walmart, but it's telling me that they don't have any in stock. I uh, haven't put in my grocery order yet. I have it all in my cart, I just need to actually order it. So I got one thing of peanut butter at Aldi just in case they're still out. My middle child asked for this cinnamon applesauce. Usually we get those big things of unsweetened. I've got a ton of those on the storage shelf, but I think that maybe she just wanted to mix it up. So we got cinnamon applesauce. I needed one gallon of tomato juice. This is something I'm hoping to can this month, but just in case I haven't gotten it done yet, I need half of this jug for Spanish rice and the other half for that. Um, baked mac and cheese we're gonna be doing Lots of butter. I finally worked through all that butter that I've been trying to get through out of my freezer So six things of butter to get some stuff back in the freezer. This is what we're gonna need throughout the month Remember we make a lot of our own homemade baked goods, so It might seem like a lot of butter, but we make pretty much all of our own cookies our own breads our own like pretty much everything so might seem like a lot of butter, but it's really not. Got a thing of Italian dressing for pasta salad and also just regular salads. We got a ton of lettuce in the garden. I got two things of milk chocolate morsels. That's really what I needed. I got two things of cream cheese. 
I want to make the taco like cream cheese dip. So I got two of those. That just sounded really good to me. I got two things of fresh garlic. I meant to stop at the farmer's stand and buy fresh heads of garlic there, but last year they ran out of garlic so quickly. So I bought two at Aldi just in case. This is for canning. Um, I'm going to be making roasted tomato sauce. I needed garlic for that. And I wanted to have the good stuff for the roasted uh, tomato sauce and roasted pizza sauce and stuff because it's a new recipe I've never tried before and when you're canning you really want to follow the recipe at least when you're starting because it's just important if you mess up like the acid and things things won't hold like they're supposed to so I'm gonna follow the recipe and it called for whole garlic I got two things of Ritatoni for my storage shelf I'm just working I'm putting a couple things on the storage shelf every month and this is something for that I did get a thing of sauerkraut because I thought it would be really good to have kielbasa and sauerkraut. We can just put it in the crock pot and then I can do some baked potatoes or something, have a really easy dinner for myself if I'm canning. This is really random, but I did get a thing of the Sweet Harvest mixed fruit. Oh my gosh, my camera will focus here. There we go. Uh, the kids wanted to put this in their jello this month. So I already had all the jello mixes, but they wanted fruit to put in it. So we picked up a thing of that. All of the ice creams, I picked up this one for me and my husband. It is a coconut and chocolate crunch. They also had a coffee toffee one that I almost got, but I don't think my husband would like that. So we're going to try this one. I'll let you know how it is, but it's uh, just a little gelato. It's like a parfait gelato. I thought it would be fun to try, so I got that. One of my kids picked out these bomb pops. Another one of my kids picked up these vanilla caramel dips. And then my other child picked up these Fat Boy Premium Ice Cream Sandwiches. It's basically just uh, a sugar cookie with strawberry ice cream in the middle, which actually sounds delicious. There's six in here, six in here, and 12 of the bomb pops. I got two things of popcorn chicken. One to have an easy lunch in case I need it. And then the other bag is for KFC bowls, which I think I'm gonna do tonight because my husband's actually working out of town tonight. He'll be back tomorrow, so by the time this video goes up, he will be back home. But I want something easy for tonight, so I think we're gonna do KFC bowls with those. My kids really like these hash browns. There's 20 hash browns in here. We typically do these with our weekend breakfasts. Our weekday breakfasts are really pretty boring. It's just like toast or bagels or eggs but on the weekends we usually do french toast or i'll make cinnamon rolls or we'll do something with uh these it's just nice to have for our weekends to make it a little bit more jazzy two things of a hamburger bun that's what my meal plan told me i needed two things of mini bagels for mini pizzas for lunches for the kids throughout this month these i did not get from aldi but i wanted to show you guys because i picked them up i got two huge sprigs here of dill i got these from the farmer's stand I paid $4 for all of this dill, which is amazing because I had dill on my Walmart order and it's $3 for these little sprigs and Walmart did have a limit. They were they only let me put three things of dill in my cart, so I think I'm going to take those out and just use this dill for dilly beans and pickles and stuff, so I'm excited about that. The other thing I got from the farmer's stand was a dozen things of sweet corn. So I think tonight we're gonna do the sweet corn and then some KFC bowls. Four bags of Fiji apples. These are the best price right now. They were under $4 a bag. This averages about a week. A bag of apples a week for my family, which is pretty typical. Then at Walmart, I will get probably two bags of cuties and then maybe a thing of pears because my kids have been asking for pears. We didn't get a pineapple this month. The kids told me they didn't want a pineapple this time, which it's totally fine. We've been going through pineapples like crazy, so I think they just kind of ate their way out of the pineapples. But they did ask for pears, so I'll probably get maybe two bags of pears and two bags of cuties from Walmart, and that'll fill up like our fruit for the month. Uh, two things of strawberries. These are already gone. Bag of grapes. These are already gone. My regular 10 pound bag of potatoes. We're going to use these for lots of mashed potatoes this month and possibly some baked potatoes for sides and stuff. We'll see what happens. I've been talking to you guys about how the baby carrots have been going bad on me really fast. And I got these whole carrots last month and they're still good in my fridge. So I got two more bags of whole carrots. I need these for some recipes and I cut them into carrot sticks and the kids eat them with uh, for snacks or for sides. I did get two things of raspberries, but my kids already stole one. I think it's on the other side here somewhere, but I did get two things of raspberries. I think I'm also going to get a thing of blackberries from Walmart. 
that Aldi didn't have any blackberries, which was really disappointing. I got two things of crackers. One is for my storage shelf and the other one is for homemade Lunchables. I did get myself the Southern Groves Trail Mix. They have so many different variations, but my favorite is the almond cranberries dark chocolate with raisins and walnuts. I'm gonna eat a handful of these in the afternoon and stuff. I'm really excited about these. I like them a lot. So we are doing a baked ranch trail mix sort of thing this month. The kids requested that. We usually don't do it until September, October. But the kids asked for it, so we're gonna do it. I needed pretzels for it. I got original Cheez-Its and white cheddar Cheez-Its, and we're gonna bake them over with some ranch seasoning, and the kids really like them. Got a thing of graham crackers for s'mores. I forgot marshmallows, but that's okay. I can get them at Walmart. My daughter wanted these fruit rounds, and she was insistent that she needed the box. If you watch my grocery hauls, you know that usually from Walmart, I get the big bags of cereal, but I just let her have it because it wasn't an argument I felt like having today. I also got a thing of these guacamole singles. I like the singles versus like the big tubs because I'm the only one that eats the guacamole. So it lasts a lot longer and I can always throw these in the freezer if I haven't gone through them in time. There's six in here. I got mild because heartburn is a thing for me and if I do anything spicy, I will definitely regret it. So here's my guacamole singles. Of course, we had to do fruit snacks, my son's favorite. Thing of tortilla strips. We're gonna be doing nachos a couple times this month for lunches and of course for the guacamole. My kids saw the cheese balls and I couldn't tell them no, so I let them get a thing of cheese balls. I think this was like $4, so it wasn't even that bad, but they got cheese balls for the month and they will enjoy them. I never let my kids get these yogurts because they're really expensive, but they were on sale today. They were like $4, so I let the kids get them. There's eight cups in here, four Oreo, four M&M. I'll just let them eat through these and when they're gone, they're gone. I got this pepperoni and mozzarella flatbread for me and my husband to do a date night at home. I'm just gonna throw this in the freezer and then one night when we feel like having a date night, I'll pull it out of the freezer, we'll bake it and we will eat this and watch a movie or do something, I don't know, but just for a date night at home one day this month when we feel like having it. And the very last thing I got was this big old bag of potato chip mix. We're gonna be doing Spanish rice this month and this is what the kids like to have to dip their Spanish rice in, so everybody can kind of pick what they want, but that completely rounds out my Aldi haul for this month. I didn't need any meat this month. I really looked through my freezer. If you watch my freezer and my pantry tour, I just uploaded those videos last week. I have so much meat in there. We buy meat in bulk, so I didn't need any ground beef. I have a ton of fish left over and a ton of different variety. I also have a ton of chicken in lots of different forms. So I really didn't need anything. So if you're wondering where the meat is, that's why but we pretty much have everything, so I'm just gonna eat out of the freezer for that stuff because we bought it. But make sure you stay tuned because my Walmart haul is definitely gonna be going over. I have so many household products that I need to purchase this month, and we're just, it's, it happens every once in a while. You have a month where you're just out of everything. Everybody needs shampoo, everyone needs a conditioner, everyone needs body wash. I'm out of trash bags, I'm out of pine salt, plus I am doing a lot of canning this month. So there's also things that I'm going to be buying specifically for canning, so it's money up front, but it'll last me, you know, two or three years, depending on how much I can actually get up on the shelf. The other thing I was gonna get at Aldi was a couple bags of onions, but they were all terrible. They were really moldy and really yucky. So obviously I didn't get those. So I'm gonna have to add that to my Walmart order. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will link down below for you guys my meal plan for this month if you wanna see what we're doing with all this food, plus my other Aldi hauls if you knew and feel like binge watching. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow with my Walmart haul for the month of August. Live it life every day, let it die, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days.